Over 20 years ago, me and my wife, we had our a little small business. It wasn't quite right. It wasn't something wasn't filled in my life at that point. Uh, you know, call it a calling, whatever you want to call it. Being the son of a, a Baptist preacher and a grandson of a Baptist preacher and heard them talk about callings and things of that nature, I believe that's what happened to me. It led me to law enforcement. I believe that's where I need to be. And that's where I'm at today with that. I started at the bottom through process and, and things like this. I was hired at the sheriff's office, uh, became a sheriff's deputy. I started on the bottom in corrections. A little while later, I was promoted, got an opportunity to go to uh, Alexandria Police Academy. Uh, from there, I went to patrols, spent a stint there. At a short time, I was promoted to uh, our interdiction, highway interdiction team. From there, into narcotics. That is where I found my niche. Narcotics was an eye-opening experience. Uh, I got to see the, the things, the fabrics, the, the scourge, good people that's, that's done bad things and brings our society down. I learned a lot right there. I saw what I could do. I became good at it. Actually, I become pretty good at it. I, uh, in 2006, I was nominated and won Narcotics Officer of the Year for Ill uh, Louisiana Narcotics Officer Association. Seven and a half years ago, I was promoted to major over the Enforcement Division. The Enforcement Division consists of our patrols, our school resource officers, our courthouse security, canine units, dairy units, approximately 250 people, a small army, if you will. I was in charge of that. That's what I did. I learned a lot. I learned how to manage my people. I learned how to manage the resources that were given to me. And we did a lot. And also in the command center of the third floor, that's where I learned how to be a sheriff, what it takes to be a sheriff. I was in the day-to-day -day workings of the sheriff's office. I learned, I studied, I went to all the schools I could get to to get this training, everything I can. And I think that's what makes me ready to be a sheriff. I learned what I needed to learn there. I've supervised. I think that puts me a notch above the other candidates. I want to be your security sheriff. That's what I want to do. I want to make sure that you are secure in your home your person, your family is secure in their home and person. I want to be secure in my home and person and I want my children and grandchildren that I have to be secure. That's what I want for this parish and that's what I will bring. I will be your security sheriff. I married a little lady from out here, her name is Tanya. We have four children, eight grandchildren. They all live within five or six miles of me in this parish. They've built homes here. They're vested here. I'm invested here. I'm not going nowhere. Else. I got eight babies, like I said. I want this place to be safe and secure for them when they grow up. And I promise you, as your security sheriff, your children will be safe. As your security sheriff, I want to tell you some things that I'm going to do. We need more patrols on the road, no doubt. I believe that I can reallocate manpower look at our budget, reallocate some things, bring down and get more cars on these roads. That's my promise. Also, something that's close to me, when me and Sheriff Hilton came back into this thing and he put me over the enforcement division seven and a half years ago, our substations were basically closed at that time. I was involved in reopening them, we refurbished them. We also put detectives in every substation. That is what I want to do. I love that program and I will expand that program in our parish. Security and police need to be close to the people. We are public servants, that's what we do. We are there to serve the public. And so if we are close to the public, we will serve the public. So I'm a firm believer in these substations and I promise you they will be open. There will be more cars on the road and I will expand that program. I want security for everybody in this parish, everywhere.
While I was in narcotics, I learned some things that I'd like to share with you. As being Narcotic Officer of the Year in 2006 for the state of Louisiana, I learned some things. No family is unscathed in this parish, untouched by narcotics. They are the scourge, the problems of our parish. I promise you that I understand that drugs are nonpartisan. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, not even registered. They're gonna to touch you if you allow them. I will be there to help you stop this in every matter that I can. I want you to be secure in your neighborhoods and I will go after drugs, I promise you. I get asked all the time about the support Sheriff Hilton is putting behind me. That means a lot to me. I'm humbled and I'm very proud to have it. I'm sure all the other candidates would have loved to have had it. But I think it's about the job that I do for Sheriff Hilton. That's why he's supporting me. He knows I can do this job. He's watched me over the last seven and a half even the 20 year career that I've had, he's watched me grow in this department. He's watched me what I can do. He knows what I can do. I managed a small army. I helped this parish. I helped the people in it. And now I want to take that thing one more notch further. As your security sheriff, I will get you there. I will make sure you're secure. I will be able to do the things that I want to do and I feel that this parish needs. As your sheriff, I can do these things and I will do them.